Mikey, 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 Mikey. The riot. Madness, Mikey Reed. Some pretty good nicknames. Care if I give you one more? Coward. Because you see, only a coward would get a man when he's vulnerable coming home from work on a dark, gloomy night when he can't see anything coming and attack him from behind. Try to end his career. Well, you should have hit me harder. You know why you should have hit me harder? Because I'm still breathing and I'm still kicking and I'm going to be kicking a lot of things this Sunday. The first thing I'm going to start kicking is your teeth down your freaking throat. And you're not going to do a damn thing about it. You know why you're not going to do a damn thing about it? Because you're not big enough. You're not bad enough. Because I faced bigger and badder. Let me give you a little history lesson. On my first day as a wrestler, I went 45 minutes with the beast. I went through a table. It wasn't even really a table. It was a makeshift table. It was a piece of plywood that was really thin. I hit the ground so hard that my body shattered. How's that for a little bit of madness? Fast forward a couple of months. I faced a man you wouldn't even last 30 seconds. Hell, you probably wouldn't even last 15 seconds with him. I faced Channing Steele. A man who literally picked me up, put me on his shoulders, and F5'd me on my face. I was greener than shit, Mikey. Let me ask you a question. What did you do on your first day as a backyard wrestler? What did you do in the first couple of months as a backyard wrestler? I'll answer that. Because I was there on your first day. Actually, you were my tag team partner then. I was embarrassed to have you as a tag team partner. It should have been the other way around. You should have been embarrassed to have me as a tag team partner because I was a jobber. No, no, I was embarrassed to have you as a tag team partner because you stood in the corner in that direction of me and you looked like a stooge, an idiot, someone who was out of place. Mikey, I see a lot of myself in you. I think that's why I recruited you to be a part of Oblivion 2.0. Don't you think? But you see, you proved me wrong. Because you're nothing like me. I stare danger in its face. And I laugh and I tell it to come on. I tell danger to bring everything it's got. What do you do? You attack it from behind. And you brag about it. Mikey, the only thing you're going to be bragging about is your body cast. Because this Sunday, I'm going to silence the riot. I'm going to turn down the sound of madness. Hell. I might take that title from you on Sunday. A title that you've held for 95 days. And haven't defended one freaking time. I'm going to keep it PG as, as 
PG as I can. I've already said shit, and I've already said damn, and I've already said ass. So, I mean, I could say that word, but that's literally not PG, and I don't want to get monetized, demonetized. Hell, I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying right now. See, I just slipped up and said it. Well, I didn't actually say it. I muted myself, and I caught myself. Because, Mikey, you pissed me off. You took something that was good. You had someone... You had... You had... It's a perfect life, man. You had a giant watching your back. You won the world title because of me. I'm just going to throw it out there. You won the world title because of me. You lost the world title because of me. Because I wasn't there to watch your back. Why wasn't I there to watch your back, Mikey? Because you took me out. Which was the biggest mistake of your life. Because Sunday, at June Madness, if I don't kill you, you're going to wish you were dead. That's not priceless. It's not it's simply priceless. It's not too sweet. It's the cold, hard blueprint of your own demise. See you on Sunday when I kick your teeth down your throat.